All right, everyone, we're back with another full self-drive update here. We're still on version 12.6.4. I've got probably about five software updates over the last short bit of time, but none to full self-drive, unfortunately. Um, so that was a little close. Let's see, though, how well it does merging onto the freeway. That is the test for today. Cloudy day here in the Bay Area. Unfortunately, we don't have a nice sunny winter day. It's cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. I think it's going to rain on Christmas Eve and Christmas. I hope not. But let's see how we do here. Merging onto the freeway again. Not super busy, but there is a car there. It's going to have to pick up a little bit. We'll look on the visualization so you can see what the cameras are seeing. I can get this. There we go. And actually merged just quite well. There was not much traffic coming behind us. There was one car. They got over. It sped up. It got right in. And now on the freeway, it will handle this like butter. Uh, no issues at all. Now, I do have it on chill mode. I need to probably bump, bump it up a little bit to like 75 and I'm getting off in a couple miles, so probably will keep me in chill mode in this lane. I should set it to hurry mode and it would get us over into the fast lane, pass a little bit of this traffic, but I'm not going to for this. Just wanted to show how smooth it can be merging onto the freeway, even in an eight year old Tesla. So for those of you that haven't been on the channel, this is version 1264 in a 2018 Model X and it handles full self-drive like a champion. You just have to nag the wheel every little bit, which is a pain, but not enough of a pain to try and upgrade this to a, a brand new Tesla. For now, this works, battery's great. Gonna keep it for a long time. Thanks everyone, throw me a like, subscribe, put a comment in there in terms of what you would like to see for Tesla or other EV commentary reviews and we'll talk later.